as your next huge business opportunity. And I honestly find this fascinating. Like, apparently, a big reason why the self-storage side hustle worked so well is because people view self-storage as like an investment, basically. Because once you fill a facility past 85% occupancy, it's very rare for it to dip below that. Now that their facilities are full, they can just keep raising the rent without fear of losing tenants because the effort involved for people to relocate their stuff to a different facility for slightly cheaper rent is just more hassle than it's worth. And as a result, self-storage has exploded to unheard of proportions over the past few years, particularly during the height of the pandemic when everyone was converting their basements into personal gyms and their bedrooms into offices. Suddenly, the clutter in your basement was in the way of your ability to enjoy that space, so the stuff needed to go somewhere. At the same time, though, with rising unemployment that followed COVID, renters and students were moving back in with their families, and there was suddenly a whole lot less space to hold their stuff. The self-storage industry took their cue and profited off of this instability from the pandemic, catapulting into the most successful this industry has ever seen. And while the interest in self-storage has cooled more recently, with people relocating less and some of the disruption from COVID settling down somewhat, the industry is far from dead. So on the other side of this conversation,